Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kendra if this is your first time here. And in this video, we're basically gonna be trying um, maybe about four to five different coffee shops so that I can give you guys a, um, you know, just some options since we're all still on the boycotting Starbucks wave. Um, I kind of want to, you know, put some out there or if you're someone that's coming into town and you want to know where the hottest coffee spots are, um, then I'm your tour guide, okay? Just stay tuned now. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do it. I don't know if I'm gonna do it over time or am I gonna do it in one um, setting. I'm not really sure how I'm doing it yet, but we're gonna figure it out. If I have to add some clips or it seems a little choppy, I'm sorry about that. I just didn't kinda, it's kinda like this This idea just kinda came up in my head randomly and then I just started going with it. So if it's a little choppy, I'm sorry. Y'all know I love my content, so you know, normally it's tip top shake. But this time it was kinda, you know, a whim let's just do this we're gonna figure it out however it comes i'm gonna make it as best as i possibly can okay so i will see you guys in a second location that this is at i want to say it's I, I guess it would be it's like 10 minutes from downtown so i don't want to say it's on the south side because it's really not but it is south of downtown let's just say that Hey y'all, so I just left a 404 coffee and let me tell y'all something. That place is a very quaint, okay? Like, <laughs> like let me tell y'all something. Let me give you guys what's going on with, with this place. Man, when I tell you this place is so Atlanta, like, you can tell like, the person who had this place is from Atlanta, probably, I'm not saying like they never been any place else, but they love their city. Like the way I love New York is the way they love Atlanta, Georgia, okay? So anything that has to do with Atlanta is in this shop, okay? Like they have peaches everywhere. Um, If you don't know, Atlanta is the peach state or Georgia is the peach state, whatever. So they have peaches everywhere, in the bathroom, on the wall. They also have, um like uh different celebs on the walls that you guys saw that have like coffee cups in their hands and like outcast and just all the celebs that are from atlanta two chains and just everybody everybody who has to do with atlanta has a picture in there like everything that represents like all of their oh, every city has certain staples so that you know that that's that city so like they have the varsity picture up there they have lennox mall picture up there they have um east atlanta's uh signage like they have different things that represent atlanta in there and when i tell you it is so cute now listen i'm not from atlanta okay i am what amaretta says you're not from atlanta you're not atlanta I, yeah i'm that girl i'm not atlanta at all but i've been here long enough to know like certain things and you know pretty much what atlanta represents like if you want the atlanta experience in like 2.3 seconds that's where you gotta go so let me give you the pros the cons and everything like that so um this is the size coffee that you're gonna get um, I paid $10 and some change for this coffee. It seems like they only have one size coffee in there. So if you're somebody who just kind of wants to try it just off a whim, like, nah, they don't, mm -mm, this is going to be the only size that you get. And this I would consider a large. And if you know me, you know, I like smalls because I like to compact my, uh, my espresso shots and I don't like to have so much milk in my coffee. So that was like the only, you know, con that I really could say that they have really. Um, and this coffee is $10. 
I'm not really, I don't really care about the price per se because I normally get a smaller cup and way more shots and I spend about $10 anyway. So the price is to me reasonable. It's the same as if you would be doing Starbucks. To me, it's the same thing. Now the coffee that I got was the Freaknik coffee. <laughs> So if you have been to Atlanta like in the 90s or you're a little bit older then you know what Freak Nick is. But due to kids being on my page or I don't know who's watching my page, I'm not gonna get into the logistics of Freak Nick. But you can always Google Freak Nick and know exactly what it is, okay? Listen, I'm not gonna downplay no uh, no black woman trying to give herself a damn coffee uh, thing, okay? She trying to do her coffee business and I'm gonna support regardless, okay? but. She had so many different drinks to choose from. Had a, I gotta look it up and I'm gonna add them on the screen so you can kind of have an idea of what different drinks they have. But they had lavender drinks, they had strawberry drinks, they had all type of different type of coffees. Like, it's just ridiculous. And they're all named after something in Atlanta. Okay, like, <laughs> crazy. I would have never thought to do that. Like, but yeah, it's, it is what it is. Hey everybody, welcome to another day of vlogging. It's your girl Kendra, if this is your first time here. And starting off this vlog, we are gonna go get us some coffee. This is a new coffee shop. They walk in and see what they got going on. Spend a little coin today, okay? So see y'all in a second. Hey y'all, just got my coffee. The one that I got is um, it's called the Honey Oat Latte and I got it iced. This one is with espresso, honey, and oat milk. So let's just see what it's a given. That's amazing. That is amazing. Honey oat latte or whatever. So it's already made with oat milk, which is of course a fire for me because now my stomach won't be bubbling, right? <clears throat> but I told him to put a little extra honey in there because sometimes I know it could be a little bitter or whatever. Yo, you can definitely taste the honey for sure. And the thing is, it's not too sweet, but it's not too like, it, it, like it's real smooth. And I'm happy I made it iced instead of hot because I don't know, hot I think would have torn me up. But that's amazing. Okay, that is, that is amazing. Yo, I've been finding some nice little coffee spots. Oh my gosh. I can't. Good morning, good morning. Well, good afternoon everybody. Welcome to another day of a coffee. So today's choice of coffee is going to be, um, what is it called? Uh, Grant Park. It's called Grant Park Coffee. I just left Grant House Coffee Shop or Coffee House and I ended up getting the caramel macchiato with um I want to say extra pumps of vanilla. It is so nice in there. Like it's definitely a place where you're going to get some good sandwiches. They sell grits in there. They sell they sell a whole bunch of different things in there and um you can definitely go in there and uh, at least, you know, you can have your, just like what you would do if you went to Starbucks. You would have your 
<clears throat> your books to write in, your journal, or if you wanted to do your computer, do your business work, it's nice, it's quiet, not a whole lot is going on in there. Everybody pretty much minds their business. They do have outside seating, they do have um, reserve parking for their coffee house, although there is a lot of street parking because I was able to pull up and get me some street parking extremely quick. So that's something that you won't really have to worry about. And the thing is about it, this shop is in a very neighborhood type of aspect like if you've ever seen Gilmore Girls how the coffee shop Luke's was like right up the street and everybody can just walk to it that's pretty much what this is given and they do mugs so if you don't want to do these they do mugs that you can drink out of just like Luke's you know and things like that it is definitely in a gentrification area so that is more or less like a grant park area it's it's really really decent i'm not gonna lie and this coffee if you're a sweet drinker then you probably won't like the caramel macchiato it is a little sweet but i do i like my coffee balance i like it half and half so you know um they have so many drinks in there and so much food. Like they had BLTs in there. They had tuna sandwiches, cheese grits, regular grits. Like they, they had so many different things. They had cookie dough lots uh, uh, it was a chocolate chip cookie dough latte they had s'more lattes they had so many different lattes like and you could tell that this people who go in here are people that live in the neighborhood the people that's in the neighborhood is what's keeping this place alive and from what i'm seeing it looks like they accept dogs i think because i'm seeing dogs walk okay so you can bring your dog to the outside part and they have water and everything for your dogs and your pets and stuff like that they just can't go inside but they can be on the outside part like where people sit down and drink their coffee so you could do the outside um part but um yeah they just can't go inside but they do have a water bowl and everything for them so if you're a pet lover that's something that you might might like this is like a really big building as you guys saw it's a really big building they even have um some places where they have computers where you can um where you can like rent a computer well not really rent it but like you can use the computer use their wi-fi and all that they do doordash they do uber Eats, they do all that stuff so you can get everything like delivered to you and this is the packaging of the coffee just something very basic simple nothing too too crazy um the customer service i would say is a 10 out of 10 but like i came a little bit later so i don't know how it is at like seven eight nine o'clock in the morning i'm coming in in the afternoon and normally there's an afternoon rush but i don't really see an afternoon rush it just kind of looks like everybody grabs their coffee they leave it looks like people come in and they eat their sandwiches or their lunch or whatever and then they leave like it's not really like people are really hanging out at all so yeah to each his own but my coffee is a eight out of ten okay no, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. It's a 10 out of 10. <laughs> I'm not even gonna, this is a 10 out of 10. This is actually just as good as Starbucks. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, it's just that when I go there, I have to figure out how they do their pump system and how they do it. Cause you know, when you're a Starbucks girl, you know how to order your Starbucks, like word for word for word. You know how many syrups, how many pumps, how many this, how many that, like this, you would have to learn it. But they do have a lot of signatures. Cause when I went in there, the lady said they have about 10 signatures that are the most popular drinks that they have out of all 20 drinks that they have. Like they have their signature ones and those are the most ordered um, lattes and coffees and drinks like that. So that lets me know what I need to know as well. Okay. Yeah. So I think that might be it. So I want to thank everyone for tuning in, for watching. I know this is a different video that you guys are used to, but um, I want to try something different because I did get someone in my comments um, a few a few um videos back and they were saying that what's going on with my coffee um journey like what's going on with the places that i've tried and you know they wanted me to do like a little coffee um tour type of thing and i was like hmm that seems kind of kind of cute because i've never done anything like that and if you've been on my channel you know that i love me some coffee so you know I thought that was a really good idea. Hopefully this helps you. If you're somebody who's out of town or somebody that's in town, these are a couple of places that you might want to try. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.